Hey guys, lots going on today. Um, I thought I would go ahead and do my tune overview before finals because I don't think I'm doing anything too crazy last minute. Um, well, I mean, it's last minute in the sense that it's going to be in an hour and a half. But, um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make level 11 uh, resistance crystals. I'll make one level 10 uh, will crystal and I'll talk about... Um, my tune this month, do my, my monthly tune overview. Um, I know everybody was excited to see if I could get a uh, Loki or a Freya seal from Sacred Gold Tree. Um, I didn't spend any Balins here because the rates are sounding really terrible. I did, however, use a ton of wands. I do have footage for that. I think once I decide how I'm going to ba go about getting a Loki or getting a Freya or or you know, I think where I'm at with all of this is I'm going to wait until um, uh, Thor and and Tyr come out, so uh, so the fire and Electro Sylphs come out, and sort of see where I want to to, to go with all of this. Uh, it's incredibly expensive no matter what path you take, but even if I were to spend Balins right now, I don't really think there's any guarantee at all that I would be able to get a seal. I used 527 wands that I had saved up. I converted my Voodoo Hammers over to to the wands, and I didn't I got um 100 w wind and water emblems and then this i don't know why it doesn't show it but it was a goddess of prosperity seal so really just uninteresting so obviously i was going for freya or or for a loki um it looks like people have cashed these and uh and tried to 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 get i mean i, I don't see anything in here that's worth getting other than than the seals um so really just not interested in trying to spend money the game has really been pushing me away from cashing right now so i i recharge very little and just have done, been putting a lot of money into the game because the the mounts cost 800 chests to get which is crazy you can't really realistically exchange for those so you just have to try and chance it and open whatever you have and um and then the merge sylphs are incredibly difficult to get for any just like reasonable player and so so yeah there i mean i'm not beyond finding as a low cost of a way, but still going to have to eat that $600 cost at some point. But at least at the moment, I'm just not willing to go there. I think my my cash tolerance right now is just a lot lower than it used to be, um, and so I'm just not touching that. Anyway, that's my spiel about the the merge still, since I know everybody's sort of um, been waiting for me to get one and is <laughs> just like anticipating my Odin so much. But uh, at least for now, I'm just gonna make do with what I have. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, make the the level 11 resistance crystals and uh, and then uh, after that go over the tune um, crystals so uh, so will crystals not touching that um, so I do have I'll go ahead and show in this view okay so at the moment uh, I have I need to take one of these guys out. So I have enough to make uh, one level 10 will crystal and then have two level 9s, so that will be nice. We'll up my, my reduce res and then um, and then I also have, I can use these level 9s to make a full set of level 11 crystals. So I'll have 18 level 11 crystals, so each, so three each slot, six, slot, um, six, six shields, and so that's 18 of them. Um, I'm not going to be using any of these level 8 crystals. Um, I definitely am waiting for the event where w once we can get um, level 9 crystals from the event again. Uh, but these guys I made in the previous event and have just sort of been waiting uh, to use them. So I'll go ahead and make those. So go into crystals. Oh, all sorts of stuff going on. Let me clear this up a little. Okay. Um... So go ahead and do the will crystal first. So level nine, a level nine, and a level ten. And then for these guys, I need 36 of the level ten water crystals. I have everything stored up as as water. Um, and so yeah, so I can make uh, 12 level 11 water crystals and then I can make two wind this way two dark 
and to light. So those are the main resistances I protect against, obviously, and then I can convert these guys over. Um, it looks like Ray is not going to be using her Frigga as her main sylph, so I'm not going to protect directly against water until I face Ray, and then once I face Ray, I think um, I can start thinking about switching over some of my wind resistance over to a different element, either probably either fire or electro, possibly water if people are thinking or seem to be bringing a lot of those. Uh, but we'll we'll see about that. Um, I do usually adjust if I can sometime in finals, but uh, but I might not be able to if I don't see Ray early on. Pretty much, well, I, I can also get rid of some light resistance if I see Solara and um, and Chili Mac early on because I think they're going to be the two Odin users. Uh, Lala did say that she's not going to show up, so um, that's that's that. Um, so anyway, my resistances are totally outrageous right now. So my light, because I have a dark pet on, is uh, is a little over 23k, just a bit lower than my dark resistance which is over 24k and my wind resistance of course stacking as much as possible against ray 7 with her huge wind pet and just also her stats are the biggest she has very high reduced res as well uh, so really just trying my best to pr protect against ray and then the will crystals um, at that level 10 in and my reduced res is up to uh, 1600 and not 16 times 16,600 uh, so that is very, very big and very helpful, um, hopefully. <laughs> I hope so. Um, I'm sure that uh, Ray will definitely have a lot of dark resistance because she's probably protecting against Odin. Um, but, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but anyway, pretty exciting to have these crystals. They are really big. Um, th this is definitely good if I wanted to spread out my resistances a little bit. If I needed to protect against water also, these crystals would have helped a lot. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. You know, I do know there will be some Frigga's you know, around. I know Chili has one, and Ray has one. I think both of them are using it as as, as a troop, uh, but we'll, we'll see. Um, anyway, that's that's where that is at. I'm just going to take these out. I always do this because um, people like to snoop around and <laughs> look at my tune before class wars. So I just uh, leave everything out for now. Um, and I don't really mind that people like to snoop, but. Um, it gets, I don't know, sometimes it can get kind of silly when all of a sudden you realize a lot of level 6 tunes are, are friending you conveniently, like, 45 minutes before Class Wars. Um, so, anyway. Um, so as far as the tune goes, um, it really made some huge BR gains. It was, you know, I did an interview with Jogo Pilato, who's a, who's a big, um, Legend Online YouTuber, um, which is the the Brazilian version of of Wartoon, and that was very fun. And I did you know I did some footage for him doing doing an overview of my tune, and I was at like 3.59 million BR, and uh, and then like the day after was the Holy Forge event. So I did all of that, and uh, but then like right after my my BR spiked a lot. So I was like, oh, this isn't totally accurate what I gave you, but anyway. Um, so now I can I, th I think I'll sort of update from that point. Um, so really where the majority of my BR has come from is uh, one, forging the Halidom and just Holy Forge on everything. Uh, the red Holy Forge on my weapon and the Halidom. Also upgrading the Halidom to orange and then um, and then red. And then also upgrading the artifact to orange got me quite a bit because I also got to add in a gem there. So my HP is doing a bit better. It's still not as amazing as some of the other players, but it's, it's doing well. Um, you know, eventually I'll get some Holy Cast on this and that will give me a lot of HP as well. But I would like to finish the Halidom. It's at um, level 7, grade 10. So, I, you know, I want that defense. Uh, defense is becoming a much bigger deal now. My uh, PDEF and MDEF are definitely catching up to some of the other top players. Uh, before, I was a bit concerned about that. But I'm feeling much better about it now. Um, magical attack at three, uh, three point, uh, yeah, 317k. And so that is in pretty good shape. Really, the only person who trumps me by a lot on that is is Ray. I think it's relatively competitive with with Lala, Solara, and Chili. Um, hmm. 
what else? Oh, and upgraded the medallion, so that sh should be a nice, you know, uh, getting this to rank 6, I just, I, I don't even know how that's possible right now with how little I effort I put into getting honor. Um, I used to be much more enthusiastic about Battleground, but right now I'm just not into it. Um, clothing, I think I've had the level 10s for a month now, so I don't think that's, that's new. Um, I, I could make some of these 11s actually, but there are no rewards for making 11s yet, so I'm just sort of leaving that alone. Um, resistances, we already went over that. Uh, anything here? Clothing ID, maybe I did go for a little bit more there. I don't know if that was last month or not. Cards have not changed too much. What else is there? Sylphs, Nutella, still at three bananas. Um, not putting a lot of materials in there. I do have a lot of advanced Mahra and Sepulchrum, uh, but just where I'm at with things right now, I really would like to save that for a merge sylph. Even if it's gonna, if even if I have to wait it out like a couple months before I can get a merge sylph, um, I'm just at the point where I don't want to to put a ton of materials into into Nutella, or at least that's about what I've been saying for lately. Uh. I was so discouraged by Sacred Gold Tree and, and getting the, the seals uh, for Loki and Freya that I did say that maybe I would go after a, a red a red Hecate, but at least for now, I'm not doing that. Um, I'm just sort of leaving Sylphs alone, um, just because I think, uh, just cost-wise, it's it's not a good place for me to put putting Balins right now. They're pushing the merge Sylph so much and trying to get so much money out of that, and I just don't want to play ball right now with all of that. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, leaving those alone. Um, didn't do really anything new as far as troops go. Uh, t tonight at, at finals, I probably at most might consider... Well, I need to change these passives if I, if I do this, but I might play Fire, but for the most part, I'm I'm suspect that I'm going to be playing dark and just keep it really simple because right now I just really want to get a feel for the resistances and everything. If dark doesn't work out this month at, or it just is really terrible this month, then I will adjust next month. But at least for now, I think I want to give it a try. Even if, even if Ray and, and Chile and Solar, I don't think Solar's, Solar's stacked against dark as much as Chile and Ray are, but I, I imagine the other two have quite a bit of dark resistance. Um, what else do you guys like to see? Astrals have not changed, even though I have quite a bit of gold, so I've been thinking about upping this illusion a little bit, um, the, the astral effect there, uh, but I just want to wait out to make sure I don't need a lot more gold. Um, you demon, I maybe had like an enchant here and there, but I don't think this was really changed. Same with the skill levels, have not really changed on, on, on Panda, so not a lot of improvements there. Mount, not really going anywhere with that. I know one of the places that, uh, that, that the other, some of the, well, a lot of the top players have on me are, are these, um, levels on Nirvana Phoenix. I only did one to test, you know, like, if it would work for the Mount Whip event, which it does not. So, really only have one level there. So, I have a, a, a large potential for more BR from, from mounts. I just haven't really gone for it. Um, I do have over 10k mount whips, and uh, so hopefully at some point I can do that. Uh, right now, all these stats are with a lot of temporary mounts. Like every single temporary mount that you can think of, other than other than Evil Unicorn, I think I have on right now. Oh, Evil Unicorn and Demonic Civet, because both of those are actually pretty difficult to get. Um, so I wanted to save those materials, but all the other ones that come from chests and whatever I use to all those temporary mounts right now uh, So I am I am sort of committing to, to trying in, in glass wars. I just don't know how well it's going to go uh, Bags, you know, this is it uh, You know 11k whip, so I'm hoping to get some nice BR out of that I do have these materials sitting here if I had gotten a, a Loki seal or something I am prepared that I would be able to be very close to an Odin. I need 5k of these. I'm pretty close. Um, so, I mean, if I do end up eating that $600 cost, then I want all of these materials for free. I don't want to pay a single penny for them. And so I've been getting these from the, the online bonuses, and I think some of them dropped from some chests that I opened uh, the first time the event came out. But otherwise, um, I think that was only 10 or 20 of each of these. Uh, so, so otherwise, I want I want the emblems for free, and I want uh, the Blast of Sun and the Sun Course for free. I literally don't want to pay a penny for any of these materials um, if I'm going to be paying a, a merge cost. But um, 
anyway, so I'll just slowly collect those and see what see what happens. Um, so I have the crystals, oh, nothing too special on this page. A lot of dims, um, a lot of little dims, and then uh, somehow magically got a lot of expert electro dims lately. Um, but anyway, um, I have to save all my gold and cows or else I end up buying too many dimensions. Uh, so crystals, gems, all of that stuff, um, I end up just usually saving. I don't know why this is there, or the U. Um, so yeah, Divinity Souls, I've gotten a lot more of those, which has been actually pretty nice because it's been better at the event to be able to make those. Um, but the, the last set of event chests gave a lot of them, which was good. Um, here I have just so much Sepulchrum in Mahra, which is great if I could ever get a Sylph that I want um, to use them on. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm at with all of that. Um, I'm all out of pure energies, basically trying to get these uh, pure refinement crystals. Um, I, I sent up a lot of these pieces, but it costs like 3 million gold each. So I literally paid 3 million gold for a pure, for four pure refinement crystals. But I really needed them at the time, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to go for it. Uh, but yeah, that was really expensive and, uh, and now I can't make any more, so it's not going to cost me any more than what I already paid. And, uh, and then new demon materials, I mean, nothing too crazy. I do have a lot of these res crystals left. I go pretty slowly through those, so, um, so it's not like I can blow through them that easily. Um, let's see here. Oh, well, yeah, I do have 800 million gold in, in cows right now. I'm probably the only person on my server who made it out of that Holy Forge event with a lot of gold. Um, but that's really because, you know, the this uh, this Halidom, it costs the same amount of gold for, for the forges, but it costs um, twice the amount of hammers and stoves. So I didn't, I wasn't able to use as much gold as everybody else had, and I also saved more beforehand. So, uh, actually, that was pretty fortunate. Um, otherwise, I mean, that's about it, you guys. I think the new patch has been really good. I, I have liked a lot of the improvements. Um, oh, I can show my dimensions. I was just looking at my dimension energy. This water dimension is almost done. I just literally just need one tower more. I was waiting for this dimension en energy to increase, and so I can do that. Um shortly after this video. Uh, so this month I protected against Odin with just one of each, light and dark. Uh, <laughs> special recipe for my, you know, terrible attempt to beat Ray 7 is two expert wind dimensions. Um, you know, God knows if it's going to work. I'm sure she has two dimensions that are probably going to be able to protect against me. Um, and she also has better stats than I do, so who knows. Um, and then um, also one water dimension. I would have probably done uh, the same thing, or either or made this a fire had I know that known before that Ray was going to bring water. I mean, bring wind. Uh, but she's. Uh, I thought she might bring her Frigo, so I started up a water dimension, and that's fine. That's this dimension is basically just to up my reduce res. Um, so yeah, um, it's gonna be. A ton of crystals tomorrow. That'll be really nice. Over the next few days, I'll have really nice crystal income. Uh, so that is always the the really good part of all the suffering that I go through during class wars to finish those dimensions. Um, but I think that's about it, you guys. I, I mean, there's not much else to it. So I hope you guys have had a good class wars week and that you've been enjoying the new patch. I think, uh, you know, mine is the fact that the game has really just, like, decrease the amount uh, that I want to spend, which is probably a good thing in, in a lot of ways. Um, uh, I really have actually liked some of the stuff from, from the new patch. They they did some good improvements to how gear refinements work, and um, and the game has, other than, um, and then the stupid cache thing, where the cache is just resetting every time I refresh, um, other than that, actually, it's running better than usual. So, anyway, uh, let me go know what you guys think, or if you know, you have any ideas for how I should set up for Class Wars next month or in the future. Um, I'm really sorry about the, the no merge sylph, but you know what? If you're going to blame anyone, blame Mortune. So take care, you guys, and have a very good day.